Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the pocket realm of the internet known as Mighty Foxy. So we're back with Maul and Olia. I managed to figure out where the other two cards were. One by the virtue of just freaking out on the game and running across it hundreds of times and just in my frustration I missed it until I calmed down. The other one <coughs> was due to there being a glitch. <laughs> so now that they patched, they also ended up putting a hint. This is the one I ended up finding. I wondered why there was an elevator under the elevator. You're going to see why. It might take a moment, but... Yeah. I didn't... Uh, the glitch was the reason I couldn't actually find this one. Because, uh... It glitched out to where the elevator would go... Up to a third floor. Like, it thought it was on the ground floor, so I never managed to actually... Use this properly until I completely redid the whole section. Now that I've done redone the whole section, got back to where I was with three cards. As long as I don't die, this will all work out fine. Yeah, you see there's a second elevator. <laughs> Stupid second elevator. <laughs> Actually, awesome second elevator. But yeah, previously when I tried to do this, I'd hit the button and it would go up again. So I never managed to figure it out in the previous video. So yeah, now that we've got it, I probably actually edited that previous video to hell just to make, because it was mainly me running around for a good five minutes of it. Do 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 do. Yes, here we go. <laughs> so this is a lovely, creepy location we're back in. And there's another person to kill. Yeah. A girl owed her money, so one day she decided to get her revenge. She asked her lover for help, and they kidnapped the girl. They took her to their house and tortured her for days, beating her, pouring cold water on her, using electricity and burning her feet with coal. Gorilla died eventually. The lover is dead. Someone like you killed him. Now it's her turn. She live or die. Kill. Kill. I'm gonna steam another person apparently. Wee. Let's go ahead and save. Yes, yeah, save. Open this. It wasn't until very late I realized it was not your fault. It was nobody's fault. It took me so long to understand that. I'm so stupid. It's too late. I can't fix things between us now. Ah, oh, yeah, I gotta sprint through this whole section. Ah, there we go. Tarot card. And a weird key. Alright. So, this number puzzle. Took me a little bit to figure out the first time, but basically the number that only appears on the wall one time. Which is 587. I'm doing it in this pattern because they, you can't click them until they've gone completely around, so. Ah, right, there we go. Now I'm free. Now we'll save again. Alright. So this next one was the one that I couldn't find just because I was being stupid and frustrated. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the elevator back up. <clears throat> do to do, do this portion may take just a moment or so. I'm gonna have to drop this elevator back down and call the real one back. So I can get the platforms to make a bridge I need. Ugh. I believe I can fly. I believe I can poo in the sky. Yeah, this is the hints they put. They literally just put a couple of hints. You wonder why the elevator has no doors? Why don't you try being creative? <laughs> Basically what they put. <laughs> Alright, so now we'll wait on this to come back. As you can see, it drops the 
platforms. It takes itself a minute and it makes you feel like you're out of a damn freaking episode. All I know is I had to, I ran through this game so many hours last night just to figure out where the one was and then I found out the other one, the reason I couldn't find it was because it was glitched out and I just had to redo the entire section in order to not have the glitch screwing me over. But yeah, this elevator kept going like to an invisible third floor with no doors or anything in it, <laughs> which was really pissing me off. Okay. There we go. Alright, so now we head over here. We go ahead and we ride this lift back up. Alright, now we go ahead and we head over here. We're gonna take this elevator down. No, this is not where I screwed up. You'll see where I screwed up in a minute. Because it's the, uh, you guys remember the room where you find the Caleb card, the one that has the the area that looks like it's a, it has a spinning bridge. Well, right here. That. I did not see it, or if I saw it, I overlooked it. Well, or I overlooked it in my f horrible frustration. But yeah. Just had to hit that stupid little switch. And we made it through here. Now we just gotta pray we don't die. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh, fuck me, fuck me, oh. Damn it. Oh, that's gonna, that, that's gonna suck ass. Uh, okay. At least we don't have to suffer through all of that completely. Apparently I gotta turn that a lot more than that. Oh yeah, and it also tells you now that the monster is not one of those three. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Alright. So we got four tarot cards now. And the key to the heart, and a heart-shaped key. Key with a heart symbol, whatever the hell that's for. Oh, I wonder how long this damn game is. I don't know, enjoy the game. Granted, after listening to the horrific sounds of torture for about two hours last night, I've kind of became desensitized to the fear again. Oh, well, that's just a trait of being me. <clears throat> I can only fear, fear, feel so much fear. Okay. Mm Seems from this point I don't have to worry too much about the glitch anymore. Because I've... Yeah, if you're stuck on the top floor, it, it glitches out. Because that will rise up to meet you, but it'll freak out one of the switches, and the switch will try to raise it above, and yeah. All I know is it was an astounding pain in my ass. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Alright, so I need to turn the wheel as fast as I freaking can until the door is all the way open. <clears throat> no, in theory, I could have just took him. I should have been able to just take cover behind the wheel thingy Majigger I was trying to turn. It's not like it's a tiny little thing. So. Door all the way open. Alright, oh fuck, all I had to do was keep turning just for a tiny- Oh, what the hell is this crap? Well, that wasn't too horrible. Kind of a pain in my ass. Holy shit! I did not notice those, though. Oh, that was... That was unnerving. So what, do I gotta run through these things at like high speed? Woohoo, I made it. That was not fun. That was not fun whatsoever. That was actually a little. That was probably the most intense of the traps I've had to get through. Okay. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so now we just uh, we'll just take the elevator back up. <clears throat> I mean, back down. Take then take the silo elevator back to the middle, back to where we need to do the cards. Yeah. Thankfully, it seems like most of the glitches have been corrected. Oh, other than this little portion here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I think I'm better off actually just taking the proper way down. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just take the proper way. <coughs> I'd really rather not fall to my doom after all that. That would be very, very, very... It. Like, you guys can't even imagine the level of rage I would be in. Having just gotten the Angelica card, I would be, like, in a blind, horrific level of rage that nothing in the universe could escape. <laughs> yeah, I just want to save my progress. Save it right there. Sorry, tried to muffle the, hold those sneezes the best I could. <clears throat> you all maybe remember this. We're just gonna go hit the switch, which should bring these back up. They're good, and it's working correctly this time. <coughs> Yeah. It was seriously some blind levels of rage inducing last night. <clears throat> Got to the point I actually had to go and write up a bug report and give it to the freaking... Put it on the community for the developers and ask them seriously what the hell. Granted, I was not the only person, thankfully. <laughs> some other people had made it this far in the game and I'd managed to uh, also encounter the same mind raping issue. <laughs> so now we go in and we run on over here. I should have all the cards. First I'm gonna reread this thing. Under the moonlight at the lake. I knew she was broken, just like me. But I could still see a good in her heart. That same night hmm. she gave me another mission. I would be she <coughs> Jesus Christ. 
Christ, the music needs to shut the fuck up for a minute. Let's reread that while the music's not being an asshole. We met under the moonlight at the lake. I knew she was broken, just like me. Hmm. But I could still see a good in her heart. That same night, he gave me another mission. I would be her shield, her protector. I would keep away the monsters and never have me. He is always above, watching my steps. Okay. <clears throat> well, this is definitely intriguing. Okay, so I'm guessing... Jellycon... I don't know what order these go in. Oh... Wait... No, I get it. It's another one of those. <clears throat> Under the moonlight, at the lake, I knew she was broken, just like me. But I can still see good in her heart. That same night, he gave me another mission. I would be her shield, her protector. I would keep away the monsters. All right, I get it. I got it. So another one of these, okay. Astrid on the, or Angelic on the top, Astrid in the middle, Machine Man on top, Caleb and the monsters on the bottom. No? Okay, maybe I don't got this. Okay. Maybe like this? Okay, this might actually be a confusing puzzle. Angelica's hand to keeping her from the monsters. No? I sort of got if it's something like I just have the positioning wrong, that's gonna drive me. F but wait, wait. How specific is this shit gonna be? This might actually be. This might actually be a freaking tough ass puzzle. Caleb couldn't be on top. Caleb was a monster. His monsters are on the bottom. I've tried this before though. Maybe if I swapped it around like that. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Okay. Astrid keeps the monsters from her. He is always above watching.
shake her hand. Wow, this is a... Okay. Oh my god, this... I'm not sure I'm gonna figure this out for quite a while. her hand, which means she should be there, but she blocks the monsters. She is always above. Oh, I got it, got it, finally, fuck! Oh, holy crap. That was freaking... This is my world. The key with the heart symbol. It's gonna take us to a different location this time. <clears throat> this last one was the key to her heart, which also activated this door. Oh god, am I the monster? I really just wish I knew if I was the monster or not. I mean, I'm pretty sure after if if. Jacob and Caleb and Christian, or Jake, Jack, Caleb and Christian aren't the monster, then I'm, it has to be Astrid or us. Me. I mean, I've killed a lot of people. Oh, my darkest secrets, my nightmares. Hmm. <clears throat> Something's probably gonna have changed up here in the cabin or something. Now that we've made it through here, let's go ahead and save. And we will call this episode here, my friends, because, yeah, this probably ran pretty long with all that puzzle solving and bullshit like that. So, yeah, make sure you leave a like, a favorite, a share, and subscribe, and most of all, stay foxy. Bye bye